London, England, March 19th, 2002. At 8 a.m., the National High Tech Crime Unit arrives at the home of 34-year-old Scottish Systems Administrator Gary McKinnon. They are there to arrest him on behalf of the United States Justice Department and NASA. For the past year, McKinnon has been hacking into top-secret Pentagon and NASA computers. What he uncovered were files that he claims could provide undeniable proof that the Majestic 12 and the secret space program it gave rise to truly exist. Among the things I found, there was an Excel spreadsheet entitled Non-Terrestrial Officers, which I took to be a space-going fleet made of human personnel, not aliens. It did list their names, I couldn't find them on the internet at the time. There was also a list of ships. When I googled the ship names, there were no matches. So I knew there weren't ocean-going vessels. Interestingly, some of the names of these ships were people allegedly involved in Majestic 12. If there was a secret space program, and if it has anything to do with back engineering crashed alien spacecraft, then those MJ-12 people are exactly the ones you would expect to find name-checked in this way. According to McKinnon, the most shocking file he came across was on a computer at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Within a folder labeled unfiltered, he spotted a thumbnail image of a high-res NASA satellite photo, which appeared to depict an unusual spacecraft. I double clicked on this image, and it was coming down very slowly. But I could see this um, tubular, a classic cigar-shaped UFO. Um, with these kind of geodesic domes, like half a golf ball stuck on top and underneath. And um, I'm just amazed, because I've found real evidence of what I thought was a UFO. Well, it could have been you know, a secret spaceship. Who knows? Um, but there it was in front of me, coming down the screen. And then suddenly I saw the mouse move across the screen, right-click the LAN icon and choose disconnect, and lost the chance to fully transfer the photo to my machine. So. It was a eureka moment, but also, oh, they got me. The secrecy associated with MJ-12, in my judgment, has permitted us to spend a huge amount of money, trillions of dollars. My more recent conclusion is that some of the trillions of dollars of money have been used to take the technology we have discovered and build gravity control devices that we would see sometimes as UFOs. So if you look in the sky now, in my opinion, it's 50-50 chance that it's ours versus theirs. According to Corey Good, what Gary McKinnon discovered in the top secret Pentagon and NASA files is in line with his own experiences. Gary ended up being the first person to uncover tangible proof of these programs through his hacking. Interestingly enough, the information he obtained on the different types of spacecraft, the non-terrestrial officers, fleet to fleet transfers, all of this perfectly coincided with Project Solar Warden. Corey claims that the Majestic 12 documents from the 1950s, which reveal that interactions were taking place between government officials and numerous alien species, are accurate as well. Currently, in the secret space programs, we've been dealing with approximately 60 different non-terrestrial groups that have come here, and some of those groups are interacting with the governments of the world right now. If there really are both alien and human factions operating throughout our solar system, how much longer can it be kept hidden from the public? Ancient astronaut theorists suggest recent government statements reveal that the truth will soon be disclosed. 